Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your daily advice for July 13th, 2017. If you're new to my channel, welcome. This is a general reading looking at the energies that surround us at this time, what we need to know about these energies and how we can use them for our highest good. Since we are looking at energies, these will play out in different ways for different people. Okay, For some of us, they're talking about our job situation. For others, they're talking about our love life situation our health, our projects, our spirituality, so it can be very different for everyone, which is why it's very important to keep an open mind and take away the message of the reading and then apply it to what you're experiencing if you feel that it speaks to that, if you feel that it helps with that. All right, so let's look at what the energy is for us today. We have wonderful energy. So in the past, the influence of the past on our current situation, we have the High Priestess. This is a major arcana card, and it's showing up here to talk about a time of searching. We've been through a time of searching, whether that is soul searching, whether that is, uh, for some of us I hear, finding our way back home, you know, whether that means finding, finding our way back to who we are, or finding our way back home in terms of making peace with our past, or feeling at home once again where we are. Um, or this is about, on a more, more mundane level, this is looking for a job, searching for the right opportunity, searching for any opportunity with the High Priestess, and just dealing with the unknown of that, with, okay, I don't know what's gonna happen. Um, I'm researching, I'm doing my best, I'm checking my facts, but I don't know what's going to happen. I just have my gut to go on, okay, that I'm going in the right direction or not. Um, the High Priestess can also talk about studying, all right? So we've been preparing for something as well, um, looking for answers, looking for knowledge, deepening um, our intuition, our knowledge, polishing our skills, okay, um, with the High Priestess in anticipation of something new that we can sink our teeth into, all right? Today's energy, we have the beautiful Two of Cups. So with the Two of Cups, this talks about the energy of partnership. And not any kind of partnership, the right kind of pi partnership. It, this is mutual uh, respect, mutual admiration, mutual support. Uh, if it's in a love relationship, you're definitely on the same page. You care about each other equally. Uh, you're fair, you're balanced, you're loving, you're genuine towards one another, okay, when it comes to the Two of Cups energy. With work partnerships, this talks about a new opportunity presented, okay, to form a new partnership that's going to pay you what you're worth, um, that will reward you for all the work you put in, all right, that will be a win-win, basically. A win for you, a win for the company, a win for you, a win for the business partner. Uh, in terms of friendships, this could represent making a very significant friend today. This could talk about reconciliation after time of searching or after time of quiet with the High Priestess. We're talking again. We're getting along again. We're trying to work things out again, okay, with this Two of Cups. But the thing to focus on is don't hesitate, all right? Um, because the Two of Cups does talk about a genuine energy, something that can and should be trusted, all right? Of course, we have to follow our instincts and do what feels right for us and do what feels, you know, comfortable and safe. But it, it that doesn't mean we can't give someone a chance. You know, we still keep our eyes open and we still pay attention, but it's about giving someone a chance or giving something a chance, especially if it's in a reconciliation type of uh, setting, okay? And the energy that we're moving into tomorrow with, and we have two beautiful lions here. We have the lion here, and we have the lion here. So this little thing that starts today turns into this big thing <laughs> that we are proud of, that we um, are excited about, that continues to grow, that gives us confidence, courage, stability, okay? The king of wands is excellent for business. So this just, again, reinforces the idea that you can trust a new opportunity that is presented to us um, today. We can trust that new opportunity. Trust your instincts, though, 
okay it will feel right it will feel like you can trust the other person it will feel like it's a genuine opportunity your antennas are not going to go up in terms of you know red flag red flag red flag if that happens just double check it because chances are it's going to be your fear okay um because this is excellent this is growth this is being in control of your own destiny this is management position financial independence leading a team leading a department leading a company this is happy relationships okay uh, starting a relationship today or reconciling and that can lead to marriage okay for some of us the king of wands is definitely we're coming out of the time of quiet out of the time of being a little bit more passive a little bit more withdrawn and just searching for things observing and we're really taking the leadership role here okay as we go through the two of cups today we get to eventually we're the leader we're in control we are independent we are strong and we're aware of that we're not afraid to stand out we're not afraid to take on responsibility we're not afraid to speak our mind because we know we will do the right thing we will say the right thing we can be diplomatic okay this is trusting our own ideas and making them a reality no more doubt no more insecurity no more second guessing ourselves okay and that happens through this two of cups today and our guidance card is be positive I know I've seen the bromeliad before I don't know if this week or the week before be positive your thoughts can shape your experience so be sure to focus on the positive so this just means don't let doubt creep in uh, anxiety worry self-doubt self-sabotage okay because the high priestess is here to talk about the fact that we have been going through a time of searching we have been going through a time of personal development and that may have involved going deeper into our emotions into our, our psyche understanding ourselves better getting to know ourselves better and so we have a light side and a dark side so we may have touched upon our fears we may have become aware of our doubts or insecurities or anxieties but the high priestess is standing between those two worlds and being balanced okay she does not react she does not show fear because deep down in her heart her intuition is telling her that everything's okay or everything's happening for a reason okay and so if we have been dealing with anxiety with fear with searching and the anxiety that comes with I hope I find the answer or I hope I make it work this card says that is no longer necessary okay our egos may have gone into overdrive to, to keep us safe okay to keep us going through that time of, of searching um, we may have been a little bit paranoid because again we were supposed to be kept safe by our own egos that that was their role during this time but this says we're coming out of that time we can breathe we can we can relax we can trust that what is presented to us is genuine because our instincts also tell us that so it's important that we are open to opportunities we're open to receive communication opportunities blessings um, we still check with our intuition to see does this feel right does this feel good does this make me feel happy joyful excited but ultimately seeing the best in a situation seeing the best in an opportunity and what we can make of it seeing the best in another person acknowledging if someone's trying to better themselves um, and so on and so forth with this card okay focus on the positive focus on what we want to see happen focus on the abundance that's, that's already within our lives abundance is not something that we should re refer to as future tense it's here now and this says being in this positive mindset where we're open to blessings and opportunities and at the same time we're acknowledging that we have blessings that we have opportunities this is how we shape a better world for ourselves because in this mindset 
We continue to focus on, on opportunities. We continue to see blessings. We continue to stay open. We stay calm because we do believe that every, everything happens for a reason. And we do believe that ultimately we'll be okay. All right, so in a very <laughs> simplistic kind of a way, that's how we manifest good things in our lives. We focus on the good things we already have and we envision the good things that we want to come in. Okay, and we give gratitude along the way and we stay in this energy of positivity, gratitude, love, openness, faith, opportunity, and then we just allow it to come in. All right, so no fear. If you're paying attention, no fear, no doubt, no worry. Those are lower level energies. And they're just mm, not the right kind of energies for manifestation because we still manifest. Whether we're thinking of something good or we're thinking of something bad, we still manifest. So that's why it's very important to focus on the positives and not to ignore fear because that makes us unrealistic and we lose touch with reality. We acknowledge it, okay? This gives me, you know, I don't know, a little bit of anxiety because I don't know what's going to happen and it's a new situation. However, even though I feel that, I choose to focus on the positive. I choose to see what I can do with it. I choose to give it a chance with faith, hoping for the best, that kind of thing, okay? So that is our reading for today. I hope that it makes sense and that it helps you whenever this applies to you whenever you do encounter these energies. Again, since we're looking at energies, it's not going to be specific for a time frame or another. Whenever you do watch the reading, that's when you're meant to receive these messages because that's when they're going to help you the most. And maybe you watch a reading now and you see these things come to pass a few days later or maybe they've already happened and now you get the lesson or now things make sense and so on and so forth. So there's flexibility there. But I really hope this helps, okay? So um, I'm looking forward to your feedback. Let me know what this is about for you, what the cards are talking about for you, how your day is going. Thank you so, so much for your support. I'm working on the weeklies for the week of the 17th because I have a very big, busy weekend. And so um, I hope to be able to post them early, like today, later today, which is the 12th or on the 13th. Um, and so just stay tuned for those. Um, but thanks again for all your support. Hope you, we all have a beautiful, beautiful day with new opportunities for a bright future. And I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Take care.